flying wedge defense and aerospace have organized an event today where they have launched india's first unmanned bomber aircraft the fwd 200b taking its first flight through a video screening fwda said it is to be available at tenth of the cost of imported us predator drones making india atmanirbhar our nation now stand amongst the league of nations equipped with advanced combat unmanned aircraft now we will talk to the organizers here and know more about the successful launch of india's first unmanned aircraft today we are here to celebrate the first flight of fwd 200b indigenous bomber this is indeed a, a big victory for india because this is one of its kind male medium altitude long endurance category aircraft of 100 2 kg class that is built in india from the subsystems level as you can see there are a lot of subsystems right behind me that we have shown uh, right from building the aero designing the aerodynamics to building propulsion systems to all the control systems have been developed right here in india today we don't have dependency on any country when turkey told that we do not give the technology to india that moved us a lot here and we have been striving for it from past 20 years and today the dream of 20 years has come true is what i can say now with the warfare dynamics changing and the war becoming completely unmanned with artillery infantry uh, losing its significance uh, the prominence of uh, unmanned drones or high altitude loitering munitions have come up today and this is one of its class which can give india the best in class defense so this can cover up to 800 kilometers range and uh, can carry about three warheads Uh, and has a maximum endurance of about 7 hours as this is a smaller aircraft we come coming up with a 12 meter wingspan aircraft as well which can have uh, much higher uh, uh, you know heights and much higher uh, altitudes uh, and also much higher endurance so uh, this can go at about 250 kmph as of today and uh, we are trying to optimize it to uh, 370 kmph okay sir and uh, is it so economical 100% it is economical when i talk about a 12 meter wingspan aircraft we are trying to launch it at less than 3 million dollar which is today uh, sold by general atomics of us at 32 million dollar so we are just at 10% the cost and when you talk about more efficient systems which are smaller in class like this we intend to sell it less than half a million dollar so economic and efficient warfare is something that we are focusing on because that is the next gen warfare so we are unveiling india's first indigenous unmanned aircraft which is a male category medium altitude long endurance uh, aircraft so india has been uh, working on similar technology from last two decades but uh, we still don't have any products which are servicing the nations so that's where we wanted to change uh, the scenario with the ongoing wars in ukraine and israel so the complete aero uh, warfare is changed so it's not that we are sending a human in an aircraft and you know going for a combat so we want uh, we it will be completely unmanned in coming years so that's where we are uh, you know have come up with a 5 meter wingspan currently which uh, has overall uh, capability of, uh, all up weight is 102 kg can carry up to 30 kg of payload so it can carry three ammunitions and can be dropped in the enemy territory other purposes can be like it can be used for a cargo or any emergency uh you know nat- natural disaster relief uh, rela- related uh, requirement as well so it can be repurposed for us there are a lot of uh, discussions are going on with uh, several agencies of the government uh, they are pretty co- uh, you know wanting to explore opportunities with us uh, we are grateful for that uh, for them uh, to them for doing that and we have to do many more steps before the procurement happens in our advancing our defense technology oh this is a this is a very 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 uh, critical component actually because this has a range that can travel without a pilot and it can endure like several hours so it can really go into the air field of the enemies and without causing any damage to the human lives so this is a very very important uh, um a defense mechanism actually now the founder and ceo of fwda suhas t jaskanda will explain us about the first unmanned aircraft and what are its features so most of the critical sub components on an aircraft if you see is the propulsion systems that are made in house in india then we have the speed controls that are developed we have the battery elimination circuits the bms two variants of it then uh, we have the power sensors uh, 
uh, which would power your aircraft uh, then you have this flight controller which is uh, you know more of the control systems based and the power box or the power distribution board that we say and even the carbon fiber propellers and everything is made here this is made by our consortium entirely here in india in electronic city in bangalore and if you see a lot of mechanical components and machining is done on the aircraft as well here you have this pitot sensor a air speed sensor and the entire body if you see the fuselage is made of carbon fiber composite this is one of the advanced techniques that you use in uh, modern aircrafts uh, to various landing gear and everything is machined here uh, 